First we need to install Cine Machine, go to Windows tab, Package Manager. Search Cine Machine. And click Install. Wait for it to be installed. Now go to Cine Machine tab, and choose Create 2D Camera. Now click on the virtual camera that has been created. Scroll down until you see the Noise option, change it to Basic Multi-Channel Perlin. Then change the Noise Profile to 6D Shake. If we play this, as you can see the camera is shaking, but we don't want it to shake forever, unless you want it to. Now go back to the noise option and change the value of amplitude and frequency to zero, so that the camera does not shake when we start the game. Now create a script. I will name it Camera Shake. First we need to add a namespace called Cine Machine. Then we need a serialize field, Cine Machine Virtual Camera Variable, and I will name it vCamera. Now I will create a coroutine, if you don't know what a coroutine is, coroutine is basically like a timer, for example, disable a game object after 3 seconds, or like in this tutorial that we are doing, we want to stop the camera, from shaking after an X amount of time. To make a coroutine we just need to type I enumerator and a name for our coroutine, I will name it start shake. After that type yield return new wait for seconds. For now I will put 1. Then at to top of this code, we will change the value of amplitude and frequent from our virtual camera. To do that, type V camera, get Cine Machine component. What we need to get from our virtual camera is the basic multi channel Perlin, because amplitude and frequency is uter that component. And to get amplitude just type M underscore. And it will show you both amplitude and frequency. For now we will give its value to 1. Do the same thing to frequency. After that, below the yield return code we will bring back both values to 1. All the line of code at the top of yield return, will run before 1 second, and all the line of codes we put below the yield return will run after 1 seconds. So that means our camera will shake for 1 second, and then stop. I hope you understand my explanation.
Now add that script to your main camera and assign the virtual camera. Now we need something that will trigger the shake, I will create a player. Now add a collider, and a rigid body. Then make another game object this is going to be our ground. Also add a collider, and a rigid body. The idea is when the player hit the ground the camera will shake. Let's check. Ok we don't want our ground to fall, remove gravity change its value to zero. Or just freeze its position and rotation. Now the collision is working. Go to your player, and make another script. I will name it player script. In the player script all we need is to check the collision. To do that, type void on collision enter 2D. Make sure you are using the right collision, if you are in 3D just type, on collision enter. Then an if statement to check if it's the ground we are colliding with. Now we need to start our coroutine. This is how you call a coroutine. Now we can't call the start shake function because it's from a different script. So I will create a camera shake variable and name it camera s. It also needs to be a serialized field. Start still doesn't show. Ok we actually need to make our coroutine public. Now assign the camera that has the camera shake script. Now let's try it.
Now to be able to change the shake and duration of the effect, we will add some float variables. First for the amplitude, I will just name it ampli. Freakin for frequency. Now change the values. And shake time for the duration of the shake. All you need to do now is adjust the values, depending on how you want your camera shake will look like. Thank you for watching, click like if this helps, and subscribe for more.